Hey guys. So I am something of a summer hater. You could say that I hate summer. When summer rolls around, usually what I do is I hate it. But this year I've been trying to change that. I've been trying to turn myself into a summer appreciator. And what better way to get that done than to make myself a summer bucket list full of fun and fresh and cool and happening summer things to do and go through my little list and check everything off and just have a good time. So I'm gonna fill up my little list with things I think will be fun to do and I'm gonna give myself one day to get all of it done because I just don't have the... I just don't have the mental physical or emotional strength to turn this into like a drawn out thing. So let's just get her done. And I'm gonna try to make it pretty. Everybody's lists on Pinterest and stuff, they always look so cute and so aesthetic. I'm not good at making things that way, but we are gonna give it a shot, maybe. So first things first, we gotta get some good summer drinks in here. Let's make uh some lemonade. I've done it like six times already this summer, but it wasn't on the list and I didn't check it off. So I'm, I'm, I'm putting it down anyway. Uh, bubble tea. I see a lot of girls doing that on Pinterest, just like chugging some bubble tea with their friends. S'mores, the classic summer snack. We gotta have some s'mores. Something I saw on a lot of people's bucket lists was planting a garden. That could be fun. I mean, everyone always says like, it's, you know, it's like, um, Everyone's always, everyone's always got like going to the beach or like swimming in a river or having a pool party on their list. I think I'm bound by Pinterest honor law to include some sort of pool related thing in this. Um, have a pool day, cute summer outfit, of course, and stargazing. Stargazing, but don't get kidnapped. So there's my list. <laughs> It is not pretty or aesthetic, but I did try. I did not try. Um, so this is all the things we gotta get done today. I guess we gotta start moving. We better get going on this. Okay, so I don't actually have lemons. What's up? But I do have limes. So we're gonna make a limeade and that's gonna count because it's my video and my list and I say it does. But first, what we gotta do is make a simple syrup. So I'm gonna add about equal parts sugar and water into this pot and you just bring it up to a simmer over the stove and that's your simple syrup. And while that's all melting together, we gotta juice the limes. Y'all, I miss going to thrift stores so much. Never in my life have I wanted to wander the aisles of a Goodwill so bad. I've been trying to buy some stuff online for fall. How does anyone do this? How do people enjoy this process? I'm so picky about the way things look on me and the way they fit on my body. Not being able to try anything on is kind of stressing me out because I know in my head and in my heart that even if it sucks, and looks the worst on me, that even if it doesn't fit at all and I can't even wear it, there is no possible way that I'm gonna work up the motivation to return anything. It just will not happen. How do you take that kind of risk? How do you know that side of yourself and take that kind of risk with these things? I've been getting a lot of comments lately from people being like, why does she sound like a cartoon character? Listen. Dudes, I have been getting told that I talk like a cartoon character or a theater kid or a theater character for a long time before I started making videos. This is just like, I know you want to believe that I'm putting on an act. You are not the first person to tell me that. I, this is just the way that I sound and I talk. I mean, maybe not all the time in my real life day-to-day -day interactions because I often just don't feel comfortable or in the mood to say anything, but y'all are not the first people to notice that about me, I promise you. That's really good though. Whoa. I might like that better than just lemonade. That's pretty tasty stuff. Okay, well that's one thing off our list. Oh, frick. Actually though, I think I already have another thing crossed off the list too. We see this? Do we see this? Do we see this action? Do we see this fit going on? Check my fit. Check my fit. 
Yo, check my fit for me. Thank you. Cute summer outfit. I think I'm gonna go ahead and cross that one off too. What do we wanna do next? What's up? Um, we can go have a pool day and I can go sip on my lemonade and we can chill together. This is the best I got, okay? No, this is chill. This is chill, this is fun, and this is fresh. I am enjoying myself. Don't drink my pool water. What do we want to talk about though? What do we want to do on our pool afternoon? You know what though? I'm about to double down. This is nice and this is relaxing and I would maybe even do it again. I am proud to announce that I no longer have the loudest dog in the neighborhood. Fenrir had claimed that title much to my humiliation up until like a couple nights ago when someone decided they were going to start leaving their dog out at night and do absolutely nothing. And I mean nothing when that dog decided it was his time to bark for three hours straight from approximately 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. <coughs> oh gosh, dude, August is almost done. <coughs> Are you doing all right, bro? So August is almost done. How deep into September exactly do I have to be? I say this like I'm gonna listen to anyone else's opinion anyway. I don't know why I even started that sentence. <laughs> so here's what's actually gonna happen. We're gonna make it to September and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try my hardest and my darndest to apply all the willpower I got and make myself wait until mid to late September to start decorating for fall. It's not gonna happen. We both are, you both being me and me speaking to myself directly in the eye. We both know it's not gonna happen. Day one of September. That is fair game. It is open season for fall decoration. Not one of you can stop me. I'm so glad we got to come out here and hang. I'm so glad we got to chill like this. We really are just vibing out here, aren't we? Hush. We really are just vibing out here, aren't we, bud? All right, so there's another thing. Check. Now, I gotta go to the store and pick some stuff up. But that works out, because actually I need some things for a couple of the other points on my list. And I might be able to work the bubble tea thing in there. I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna do that one. I already had lemonade. How many drinks do I realistically need on this summer bucket list COVID-19 version day? Let me just apply some lip gloss to wear under my mask. <laughs> I got this from a shop called Sweet Peach. It's so cute. It has these little strawberry charms in them and it smells like strawberries. I have like 20 different items from that shop. Um, the lip glosses are my favorite. They're all very good. They all smell amazing. And the formula is really good too. I'll leave a link to it down in the description. It's a small business. It's black owned. Check that out if you want to. This isn't sponsored or anything. I bought it with my own money. I just think it's really cool and cute. And it smells good. Did I talk about how the smell is good? Good. It's LOL. I genuinely am incapable of speaking in full sentences. At whoever's got my voodoo doll at the moment, could you make it do some cognitive exercises or something? I would greatly appreciate it. Okay, let's go. Hey. Oh my gosh. Jeez. I did not end up getting bubble tea. And I am satisfied with that decision. So what I'm gonna do instead is move on to another point on the list, which was planting a garden. Uh, which is to say, I'm just gonna repot some of these dudes. And the sun is starting to set, so hopefully by the time I get done with all this stuff, it'll be dark enough that we can go make some s'mores and then go watch the stars. I don't know anything about planting. I suck at plants and house plants and keeping them alive generally. So don't take this as like a tutorial or anything. We're, re we're really just here for the vibes. We're really just here for those summer vibes. Okay, so I think the first one I'm gonna take care of is gonna be this little dude. His, I haven't even taken him out of the little the thing. They, they come in at the store. Pothos are immortal. He's alive and he's thriving because he's immortal. So if you also suck at plants and houseplants, get a pothos. That's the only advice I have to give you. Get 
just get so many of these. They'll never die. I'm gonna put them in this little thing. It's a pig. It's a planter and it's a pig. My Nana gave it to me. No! Oh my gosh. Oh, I was too rough with him. Oh, I was way too rough. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. He was so delicate. He was a delicate little baby child flower. Oh my gosh. Oh, frick. Gosh, frick. I think I just killed this one. Oh my gosh. Poor guy. I don't even know what I did to this one. I think I just had him in a pot too small for too long. <laughs> okay, so it's s'more time. Um, I don't need to explain this process to you guys. Yo, oh, you Anyway, here's the s'mores. Get all your ingredients out and go ahead and sneeze your Rona germs all over all of them. It's okay because if you have the big Rona, your husband can simply catch that mess too. It's the law of equivalent exchange and if you go down, he's going with you. Now to prepare the ingredients. Since I don't have anywhere to make a fire, we're going to cook these under the broiler in the oven. We like some dark chocolate in this house. I found these flat marshmallows that work great on s'mores, would highly recommend, and all that's left to do is assemble the halves on the pan and put them under the broiler to toast until they reach your desired burntness. Now your s'mores are done and you are free to enjoy them while your husband burns himself on the pan behind you. But you do not notice or care because you have your own s'mores to worry about. It's okay if you need to take a moment to reflect on the perfection that is the common s'more. And it's also okay if you feel you need to post up with them in your confusion. I don't even want to be out here anymore. Bro, it's so dark. You're about to not even be able to see anything. Can I turn the flash on or are we just out here? Are we really just out here and we're really just gonna vibe in the dark? Okay, well, this is fun. This is fresh and this is chill. Apparently there was a meteor shower like a couple days ago. Not one person told me about it until the day after it happened though and I'm still bitter about it. I mean, this is kind of vibey. We just got the sounds of the creatures rolling around at night. Maybe we should just finish this off the way we did the last video, which is to say that I'm gonna be lazy and I'm not gonna finish it at all. And I'm just gonna let us vibe and chill and listen. Except this time, you don't even have anything cool to listen at. You just have the sounds that may, I don't, I, is this even picking? Okay, shut up, we're gonna vibe. Dude, what if I actually got grab bellows out here? I wouldn't even get to check it off my list then because it specifically says stargaze and don't get kidnapped. Dude, but if I did get killed, d if I did get killed, oh my gosh. Oh, I should have made this a live stream. Because how am I going to upload it? If okay, fine. It's time to go in. I'm not trying to get killed out here. Maybe that's something for the fall bucket list? The Halloween bucket list. That might be a fun and fresh and cool and happening thing to do for the Halloween bucket list. But for now, I'm going in. <laughs> 